Ethan Barr over here from Vandy. Yep. All right. And you so, got your degree there, right? Yeah, I did. All right. What was your degree in? My degree was in human organizational development. Um, it's kind of like a business leadership uh, degree, so we got to learn about uh, just the way organizations work, how to manage them, things like that. So really you cool. are well prepared to just fit right in as a leader on defense, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, I like to host, so I I, uh, I was fortunate enough to be a captain at Vandy, so it kind of all worked out, I guess, when I got here. So. And now you're a captain here. What's yeah. that like? I mean, because because you're because you're one of the new guys. Yeah, but that's a lot of responsibility for you. Yeah, yeah, I think, um, yeah, like you said, like, it, it is a lot of responsibility, and I think it just comes with being consistent and being the same guy every single day, so that's what I try, I try to strive to do and uh, try, try to be for the rest of the guys on the team, so. I heard this right, you're married? I am, yes, sir. Wow, okay, yeah. so you're like, how old are you again? You're like 20? I just turned 22, actually, yesterday. Just turned 22? Yeah. Okay, congratulations. Yeah, so, thank you. So what's that like? Um, it's, I mean, <laughs> it's funny, me and my wife are always like, man, what, what, what changed, like? It's like, what's different about married life? And I think we're still trying to figure it out. So, but it just feels like we're still dating. So it's fun. I, we enjoy it. And uh, um, it's great that she's be able to be here and live with me. So yeah, I was going to say, it's changed for her too. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, we, we did long distance all throughout our college uh, career. So um, she was down in Texas. I was up in Nashville. So it was good that she was able to be here now and join me, especially Aww. through the football season and, and getting to see her more often. So Now, is she an athlete too? Just she is. School? Yeah. Okay, what she, she played soccer. Oh, she played soccer. Where'd she play yeah. soccer? Um, she played at Baylor, then went to Stephen F. Austin. So, so at least it's good that you guys had like, you know, you're able to, even though it was long distance, you're able to kind of ground yeah. each other because you went yeah. through a lot of the same struggles yeah. that a lot of athletes go through. Right. Yeah. Time management, and all that. Exactly. Yeah. So, us having the same type of schedule, same types of understanding of what our life is looking like, it was very good for both of us, and you know, just having that similarity. So, so do you see yourself as kind of like? guy here, you know, I, I don't but I think other people see me as the old guy <laughs> whenever it's be my birthday yesterday everyone's like how old are you like 24 I'm like man, I'm only 22 like <laughs> I'm not old at all so <laughs> to me I'm a young guy I've always been the younger guy so that's where kind of my head is always at but it's funny I think everyone else thinks sees me as a grandpa here so <laughs> <laughs> so let me ask you about on the field you know the linebacking core they took their lumps last year you're one of the new guys who came in and are expected to really step the game up in that unit how has that been working out so far it's been working out really great um just all throughout spring and then over these last couple of days that we've had in camp um it's been really good to see us all come come together and be able to play with both the front end and the back end i mean all see all off season and everything we've been doing seven on seven but getting that all together and really be, being able to see how uh, much we've improved with not into coach roof's new defense um, it's night and day from where we started in the spring so it's been really good and uh, I mean the linebackers as a whole have been put in the work all summer I know to to get to where we are now and it doesn't come easy but I think we're taking the steps to, to become an improved group from um, what you're talking about so uh, yeah, I'm excited to see what we, we kind of bring to the field this year I think our defense is really built to help linebackers succeed and have a high level of uh, production so yeah that's my next question about that because like what was the part when you first got here that you were like, man, we really got to get better in this area? Yeah, I think it just like leadership general in general and just running the defense from, from that point where it was at um, and then getting more comfortable uh, into where we are now. Like you see everyone uh, being able to direct direct traffic on the defense and things like that and get everyone lined up, get ready to go and, and – be able to be more efficient as a defense has been a big step uh, from where we were at before. So communication. Communication, right? for sure, yeah. yeah. How, put, us, put me inside your helmet. Like, yeah. I feel like that's such an underrated part. Of it. Yeah. Everybody that I talk to, like, when you get really into it, like, the, that's hard. It's loud yeah. when you're on defense. How do you guys manage to keep everybody on the same page in the game? Yeah, I think a lot of it uh, is, a lot of the communication is done in the week and, and prior to the game and, and being on the same page before you have to frantically be on the same page, you know what I mean? So uh, I think being able to like look at somebody and be like, okay, like you or me or you're that way or just kind of saying you're dropping out that way, things like that just help remind each other what we're doing or just communicating when there's a, a, ch a motion or shift or things like that, being able to see that on film prior to and then and translating that onto the field. And it's the only way it can be really done efficiently on the field is knowing exactly what to do and being in the film room as a defensive unit, as a back end, as a linebacker group. So um, 
as much as it, it can be done on the field, it's all off the field as well. Yeah. So you played at Vandy. Yeah. KJ played at Arkansas. Mm -hmm. You guys matched up against each other? We never did, actually. No, really? yeah, that was one of the, probably one of the only teams I didn't play. Them and LSU, I think, were the two teams I didn't get to play in the SEC. Have so. you tackled him in practice yet? No, he hasn't been live to this point. <laughs> but uh, we'll see. Maybe he uh, maybe he gets live, but I, I don't imagine it. <laughs> Last question. What was the best gift you got from your wedding? Ooh. Shoot. I think my be the best gift I got was probably... I had a, like, a cross necklace that I would always wear, but then it broke when I was playing around. With my, I was wrestling with my brother in like the ocean, and it broke. So my wife got me this one. Um, so it gold to match my ring. So I'm... I really, really uh, love this gift. What's uh, the best gift you got her? Ooh, I got her these like pearl earrings that she wore the day of. So, um, yeah, I think that was the best thing. All right, man. Yeah. Thanks again.